हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सैम बायोलॉजी क्लास दिस इज सुब्रत कुमार महंती टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट डिलीशन मैपिंग बिफोर दैट आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स दोज हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब डिलीशन इज अ टाइप ऑफ क्रोमोजोम म्यूटेशन इन हुईज ए पार्ट ऑफ द क्रोमोजोम इज मिसिंग Deletion mapping is a technique that is used to determine the locations of genes on a chromosome. Because of this, this technique has been used for physical mapping of the genome. Chromosomes are stained by special methods in order to reveal a characteristic bending pattern. absence of one or more bands that are normally on a chromosome reveal chromosomal deletions by this technique genes can be assigned to specific regions of a chromosome by studying the association between a gene's phenotype or its product and a particular deletion By this technique we can say that whether a particular gene is within the deleted region or not In this technique an individual homozygous for a recessive mutation is crossed with an individual heterozygous for the deletion In the homozygous parent both the chromosomes of the homologous pair have the mutated allele and these alleles are present within this particular chromosomal band in the heterozygous individual one chromosome is normal having a wild type allele but the remaining chromosome of the homologous pair has the deletion because of which the particular chromosomal band which contain the gene has been removed At the type of gametogenesis the homozygous individual will form only one type of gamete this is because both the chromosomes of the homologous pair have the mutated allele but the heterozygous parent will form two types of gametes in one type of gamete the chromosome is normal having a y type of allele but in the remaining gamete the chromosome has the deletion after fertilization in such a case 50% of the progeny will be of y type and remaining 50% will be mutated such type of result in which 50% of the progeny are of y type and remaining 50% are mutant indicate that the gene of interest is within the deleted region so this prove that the specific gene is located within this particular chromosomal band here also an individual homozygous for the same recessive mutation is crossed with an individual heterozygous for the deletion but the difference between these two is that in this case the gene of interest is not within the deleted region you see here this is the region of deletion which is out of the gene of interest at the time of gametogenesis the homozygous recessive parent will form only one type of gamete this is due to the fact that both the chromosomes of the homologous pair have the mutated allele but the heterozygous parent will form two types of gametes this is because one chromosome is normal having a wild type of allele and the remaining member of the homologous pair has a deletion both of the chromosome have the wild type of allele so here the two types of gametes which are formed by the heterozygous parent will have the wild type of allele as a result after fertilization all progeny will be of wild type 
such type of result indicate that the gene of interest is not located within the region of deletion so by comparing various deletions that affect different genes and by studying their association with specific phenotypes we can determine the location of several genes on a chromosome deletion mapping has been used to determine the location of a number of human genes for example ductal muscular dystrophy for example ductal muscular dystrophy is a disease characterized by progressive weakening and degeneration of muscles from the study of its x linked inheritance the mutated allele was known to be present on the x chromosome but its precise location was not clear by examining different patients with ductal muscular dystrophy the mutated allele was assigned to a small segment of the short arm of x chromosome so friends this is all about deletion mapping for more updates Please subscribe my YouTube channel Sam Biology Class